snow coming in about the same time the Arctic air begins to move in. This will be on late Wednesday night in through our Thursday. Now Thursday can be a snowy mess with the Arctic air with the blowing snow. But on Friday, Hey folks, hope you enjoyed the intro. My name's Marcus Barnes, and I blow glass. Pretty rare for us to get some snow here in British Columbia where I live, so I figured I'd take advantage of it and film this video. Today I'm gonna make a goblet. Should be a lot of fun. So I'll start out by pulling a point for the base, and then another point for the top. Here we go, stretching out that tube. Separating the two pieces, removing a little extra material. Slide that right in there. That one's looking good. Time to do the second. My buddy Kevin came by and hung out for a little bit. Got him to bring me some tools. Say hi, Kevin. got both pieces prepped up here. So now I'll just go ahead and start forming the base. We're gonna tilt the glass on an upward angle, build up some wall weight, and also add some air. Here I'm coming in with a seven millimeter rod and beginning to add my evolio. An avolio is a traditional connection point between the foot of a goblet and the stem. Mm -hmm. 
off of that first Evolio, I'm just going to build my stem. This is mostly for ease of access since I'm outside. And now I can begin to flare up this foot. I'll go ahead and do a little bit of a flame anneal here. Let's burn off all that carbon and remove our blow tube. Blow a nice thin bubble and pop a hole in there. side of my pot and now we'll start the process of preheating this foot. Looks like I've got a little bit of extra material there just on the lips. I'm gonna remove some of that. Looking great. So now we'll start using my jacks to flare this open. Put a little bit of beeswax on there, and here we go. I like taking the time to polish off any tool marks on the inside of the foot. And we'll just cover the whole thing in carbon. Help keep it warm a little bit while we work on the top. So here we go, adding a little bit of air to that section making sure the whole area is nice and warm, giving it some more air, kind of looking at it, engaging the whole way through. I want to make this into a very squat bubble. This will be more of a goblet than a wine glass. And just taking the time to heat it up all real nice. And that's a beautiful looking Evolio. Slowly bring our heat in there, take a look. Use a propane heavy flame to start annealing it and add some carbon to the surface. And begin the process of removing that handle. This annealing flame is really meant to reduce the stress between the connection point of the solid glass and that hollow area for the top. All right, I'm pretty happy with the heat I've got in this, so I'll start opening it up. Getting my jacks right inside of there. These are some red hot metal jacks. They're very heat tolerant, and I can actually work them ever so slightly inside of the flame. Gotta take the time to keep them nice and lubricated with that beeswax, and 
we're just heating up the bottom of the lip and lifting on the top. Getting a nice even rotation in. Beautiful. Looks like we'll go in for one more move here. Keeping an eye on my jacks to make sure they're not too hot. If the metal gets too warm, it'll start to stick. And before that, you'll end up with a lot of tool marks. Just taking the time to true up the inside of that lip. This right here, this is the face of a man regretting his actions. It was about this point in the video that it was starting to get pretty dark and the snow was starting to come down heavy again. It's hard to see on a phone, but if you're watching this on a larger screen, you'll be able to see the snowfall. Figure to myself, well, let's wrap this up. So here I'm just attaching the top and the base. Nice even rotations, bringing them together in the flame. And also taking a small amount of time to work in the seal here. In this kind of heat conditions, it's really hard to avoid cracking. And at this point, I kind of just decided it was good enough. All right, let's clean that carbon off and take a look. Hey, that's looking pretty good. Not bad for an outside piece. What do you think, Dr. D? And what's a snow goblet demo without a Canadian ice cream? Gotta get that grade A maple syrup. Generous portion on top. Spoon, let's give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Now, if that doesn't taste like Canada, I don't know what does. Happy holidays, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And drop me a comment telling me what you'd like to see in the future. Bye for now.